Did you know that 2024 is filled with mega builds reaching completion all around the globe? From India constructing its longest sea bridge to connect thriving regions to the United States, it's a year packed with massive projects. Join me as we count down the biggest mega projects set to finish in 2024. Seal Tower In a city already crowded with skyscrapers, Dubai is adding another standout to its skyline with the Seal Tower, costing $544 million. This unique building is made up of two tall towers connected by a 300-meter-high atrium, all covered in glass. With over 1,000 rooms, 150 suites, and a hall stretching over 365 meters, the Seal Tower will become the tallest hotel in the world when it opens in the first half of this year. Notre Dame, the Nottingham Cathedral, which was devastated by a massive fire in 2019, is undergoing reconstruction at a cost of $760 million. Nearly a billion dollars was raised to fund its restoration. Experts are carefully sourcing ancient materials and consulting historians to restore the cathedral to its original grandeur. French President Emmanuel Macron initially suggested modern changes like a rooftop garden and a glass spire, but most of these ideas were rejected in favor of a historically accurate restoration. Workers are racing to complete the project in time for France's hosting of the Olympic Games in July, although it's more likely to finish by December. The reconstruction of the spire may continue into next year. Due to the complexity of the project, some experts estimate it could take up to 40 years to fully complete the restoration. Neom Sindala, the first region of Neom Sindala, is nearing completion with construction costs of $800 million, which is relatively inexpensive compared to other Neom projects like the line. Sindala is a luxurious resort destination in Saudi Arabia, featuring white sand beaches and an impressive marina with 86 berths. Spread over 840,000 square meters, the island is larger than Vatican City and about one-fourth the size of New York's Central Park. Located within Neom, Saudi Arabia's $500 billion futuristic city. Would you like to visit Sindala? I know I would, although it might be a bit pricey. Ahor Frankfurt We're now talking about a massive project happening in Europe, specifically in Germany. It's called the Four Frankfurt, and it's costing a whopping $1.1 billion. Starting back in the 1970s, Frankfurt has been known for its impressive buildings, earning it the nickname Manhattan. Out of the top 20 tallest buildings in Germany, 18 are in Frankfurt. Now they're adding four more skyscrapers, appropriately named the Four Complex. These new buildings will make Frankfurt an even better place to live and work, with the tallest one reaching a height of 233 meters. New Santiago Bernabeu Let's talk about Spain, where the new Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is almost finished. It's costing a hefty $1.5 billion. Real Madrid had to delay the opening by a year, but they're finally planning to unveil the revamped stadium in 2024. Some major changes include a new retractable roof, and a huge metallic shell covering the outside. But the real innovation is under the pitch. The stadium has a retractable pitch made of six panels that can stack underground. This makes the venue more versatile, allowing it to host sports like American football and basketball, as well as concerts and other events, while keeping the surface clear. There's also a storage area 35 meters underground to take care of the football pitch. With an irrigation system, UV therapy, and precise temperature control, the grass stays perfect all year round. Now let's head over to India for the next update. Navi Mumbai International Airport The Navi Mumbai International Airport is set to be finished this year, and it's costing a massive $2 billion. Located 35 kilometers east of Mumbai, the Navi Mumbai International Airport is getting ready to open its doors. It's going to have three terminals, all covered in a huge curved exterior. This airport will be the second one for the Mumbai area, which already has a large population expected to keep growing. Once it's finished, it'll be able to handle up to 25 million passengers every year, and with future expansions, that number could go up to 90 million by 2032. Plus, the airport will connect with a new mega bridge called the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. Mumbai Trans Harbor Link The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, which cost $2.2 billion, recently opened to the public in January. It's now the longest sea bridge in India, stretching 21.8 kilometers. This bridge connects Mumbai with Pune and Go, making travel much easier. 
Instead of spending up to three hours driving on land from Mumbai to Navi Mumbai, the new bridge cuts that time down to just 20 minutes. This increased connectivity is expected to boost the economy in both regions. With around 30,000 vehicles traveling on the bridge per day, it's projected to bring in about $32 million each year. Phase 4 of the Incheon Airport Upgrade The upgrade for Incheon International Airport costs a whopping $3.6 billion. This airport is always ranked as one of the best in the world. To stay ahead, South Korea has invested a total of $13.6 billion into upgrades since 1992. Now they're finishing up the fourth phase of construction, which costs $3.6 billion. The upgrades include a brand new 3.75 kilometer runway and an expansion of Terminal 2. With these changes, Incheon Airport has become one of the largest airports globally, able to handle up to 106 million passengers every year. Designers are using cutting edge technology like biometric security screening, artificial intelligence, and sky bridges controlled by remote access systems. Woven City, in Japan near Mount Fuji, Toyota is putting the finishing touches on its Woven City project, which costs $4.6 billion. This city will be Toyota's own creation, serving as a living laboratory to test new technologies in construction, transportation, renewable energy, and autonomous innovations. Covering 175 acres, Woven City will showcase Toyota's latest inventions and will be fully integrated with cutting-edge technology, from smart home interfaces to AI powered by hydrogen fuel cells and solar power. While it's a testing ground for future city concepts, Woven City will also be a fully functional community with homes for 360 residents to start, with plans to increase capacity in the future. Gordie Howe International Bridge the Gordie Howe International Bridge is a bridge connecting the two largest countries in North America, the United States and Canada. It's costing $6.4 billion and links Detroit with the city of Windsor in Canada. Once it's finished in 2025, it'll be the longest cable stayed bridge in North America. This bridge will offer an alternative to an existing tunnel and the nearby Ambassador Bridge. Construction started in December 2018, originally aiming for completion in 2024, but it's been delayed to 2025. The cost has also gone up from $4.03 to $6.4 billion. Stretching 2.2 kilometers over the Detroit River, the bridge will hang in the air with cables attached to towers that are 220 meters tall, about the height of the Times Square Tower in New York City. Now let's move on to the next topic. Phase 1 of Kedia. Saudi Arabia is aiming high with Phase 1 of Kedia, a project costing $8 billion. This mega-project, located an hour outside of the country's capital, combines 45 different projects into one. Among these projects is the Six Flags theme park, set to open in October 2024. Interestingly, this isn't the first time a Six Flags park was planned for the Middle East. A similar project started in Dubai in 2016, but it got canceled due to financial issues. If the Katia theme park is completed as planned, it'll boast the tallest freestanding roller coaster in the world, standing over 150 meters tall and reaching speeds of over 250 kilometers per hour. Would you dare to ride such a fast roller coaster? Let us know in the comments below. LaGuardia Airport Project. In the United States, New York is finally giving one of its main airports a much needed upgrade. The LaGuardia Airport project costs a whopping $8 billion. LaGuardia Airport used to be America's top airport in the 1960s, but over time it became overcrowded and surrounded by residential areas, making expansion difficult. Now, with this $8 billion upgrade, the airport hopes to solve these problems. They've reconstructed Terminal B completely and combined Terminal C and D into a larger structure. These changes have made more space for passengers, making it easier to move in and out of the terminals. Additionally, the project has increased the taxiing area for planes, reducing congestion and delays. 